focus on what you're doing and do it. One, two. Welcome to Stunt Schooled, round one. One lucky superfan has been chosen to learn some of the stunts that went into making Sherlock Holmes. Meet Tim Connolly, Hollywood stunt coordinator. Steve DeCastro, professional stuntman. Eric Aram, Wing Chun martial arts instructor and fight consultant for Sherlock Holmes. Together they'll teach Randy the skills necessary to survive fight scenes as intense as the ones in Sherlock Holmes. Don't try this at home. Oh my. Hi Randy, how you doing? Good, good. Nice I'm Tim. Tim. I'll be your stunt coordinator today. Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. This is nice. That's pretty awesome. I mean, I get to actually meet a, a real stunt man, like a professional stunt man, and uh, he can show me, you know, how that all works. Because usually I'm just watching it and wondering how they do it, and now I get to kind of go through the screen and, and be a part of it. It's pretty awesome. Head cocked to the left. Partial deafness in ear. First point of attack. Two, throat, paralyzed vocal cords, stop screaming. Three, got to be heavy drinker, floating rib, deliver. Four, finally, dragging left leg, fist of patella. Summary prognosis, conscious in 90 seconds, martial efficacy, quarter of an hour at best, full faculty recovery, unlikely. You ready for it? Awesome, that? yes. I want to look like that. Yeah, all right. I don't take off my shirt, do I? No. Okay. Sherlock pops out of the shadows, boxes his ear. Stuns him in the throat. Bam. Hits him here and he starts to drop. Sherlock wrote him down and it was, uh huh. He's like, huh? You're working for the wrong guy. Oh. Takes his hat and off he goes. Most films will use the angles to create the illusion of the contact. Sure. Except in Sherlock, it was real contact and the stunt guys really. Really took the hits. Every that did come up and they took the hits, shot for shot. That's a little scary. That's a little scary. So what we'll try to do on this is tone it down a little bit to represent that contact without actually giving him that contact. Today. Okay. All right, good. So All let's right. pick it up. And ready, one. And so he's got the smarts and he's got the strength. See, I'm just working Two. with the smarts. Oh. Three. It's definitely a new kind of view of Sherlock Holmes. Four. Get feeling pretty tough now? You have no idea. I, I know that when I was growing up and I would, you know, picture how I was going to get into a fight like with a bully, it never quite went according to plan. Like I pictured it in my head one way, but then it went totally different when it actually happened. It usually involved me losing. Oh! Oh! All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're back to Scotland. Or... All right, so obviously you're feeling pretty comfortable here. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go 60%. Well, I run most of my life at 30%, so this is a big increase for me, so oh, don't worry. Okay. So right up there. Don't actually make contact. There you go, perfect. I think the easiest way to do this would be just to have the lights go down and you hear the noises. And then the lights come on and he's on the floor. Good. Good, yeah, and much better. Eric, how close are we getting to the real Sherlock Holmes? Uh, that, was, that was the best one yet, I have to say. I'm giving hope to fanboys everywhere. Good, all right. Still liking the world of Hollywood? Absolutely, I'm ready. Right. Let's make a movie. Good work. Thank you. Appreciate Ready it. to struggle? Thank you. How did it feel kicking my ass all day? It was, uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I took a lot of that energy and I just beat the crap out of you and that was great. You I great definitely job. respect what you guys do a Good lot job. more now. Right. Stay tuned for round two of Stunt Schooled.